And now what he wants us to do is uh, he suggested we can evaluate worldviews. Right. right. We can determine <clears throat> to a certain extent which worldview is, as he says, more true than another worldview. Mm-hmm. Right? Because he's trying to answer the question of why should I believe Christianity? And he's positing that Christianity isn't this, this collection of facts or events or things that you kind of believe that affect you when you go to church on Sunday. Right. But it's, it's an all-encompassing worldview. The worldview is how you see uh, the world uh, and, and uh, obtain evidence, bring, bring stuff in, uh, accept things, or evaluate things as being good or accurate. Yeah, good. So he says, uh, the, uh, the first chapter, he says, explain that we should uh, want our beliefs to be true. And the way we determine whether our beliefs or our other people's beliefs are true are by considering reasons for and against those beliefs, right? Mm-hmm. So if we, we want to know if a particular belief is true, one of the things we do is we ask for the reasons to to, uh, to determine whether or not that belief is true. So, you know, uh, here I have a book. I believe that there is a book on the table. Well, what's your reason? Well, in this instance, I see it, mm-hmm. right? And so we can give reasons for our various beliefs. And, and he says the same principle uh, can apply with worldview. Right. We can examine worldviews, look at the various reasons to determine uh, which worldview is true or more true than mm-hmm. another one. Right. Right. And so uh, we start with um, here how to um, evaluate the worldviews. And so we consider various reasons for thinking that a worldview is true and also various reasons for thinking that a worldview is not true. Mm. Because, you know, it, you're, you're going to be coming into conflict with uh, people who hold different things, even... Uh, those that claim to be uh, Christians as well. So uh, I believe that uh, uh, God doesn't have the body, uh, a, a physical body. You might believe that God the Father has a physical body. Hmm. Well, you're a Mormon. I'm not a Mormon. And so uh, there are implications to that. And so we can see um, by comparing those two that they're different. And so how do we evaluate from there as well? Yeah. So another way to put the point is to say that we can evaluate worldviews with respect to their truth claims. So not just... Uh, you know, oh, I, I think chocolate ice cream is the best, but there is such a thing as ice cream. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we can apply ice cream s- exists. Yeah, right. right. That's a truth <laughs> claim, right?